Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share a few of my own tips with you to make trimming your dog's nails less stressful for you. I've got a couple of different tools here that I like to use in particular that I'll share with you, and then also kind of how I do it to hopefully make it less stressful for you and for your pet. And one of the reasons that I hear pet owners say that they don't like to trim their own dog's nails is because they're afraid they're gonna hurt them. Understandably so. There is a vascular portion under their nail called the quick that if you cut into, can make it sore for your pet and also can bleed quite a bit. So the other reason too is that uh, if your dog has dark colored nails, sometimes that can be intimidating because you don't know where you're cutting and you might cut too far back and get into that vascular portion as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple different tips to help you avoid cutting into the quick and also make it easier for you even if your dog has dark nails. In fact, that's the reason I have Blue Ivy here to demonstrate. Blue Ivy has two different colored nails. She has clear nails, so I can show you the quick, and then she also has much darker nails as well. So hopefully we can alleviate some of those fears and make trimming their nails a lot easier for you at home. I do recommend trimming their nails about every two weeks. It keeps that quick, that vascular portion recessed more and they're less likely to snag it on different things or scratch things as well. So a good rule of thumb is about every two weeks. It also keeps them familiar with the process and the handling so it's much more comfortable with them because they're used to it. Okay, on to some tools that I like to use. First things first, always something good for the dog. I got a few of Blue's favorite crunchy treats here to keep it a positive activity for her, just like any other activity that I want her cooperation with. Now, if your dog is already fearful of nail trims for whatever reason, it helps to have a partner. So one person is actually feeding the dog good, happy, high value rewards to make a positive association and the other person is trimming the nails. Okay, other tools that I have here. These are some different types of nail trimmers that you can use, different sizes, obviously. These are small nail trimmers for small dogs or for cats. You don't want to use nail trimmers like this on a dog of Blue Ivy size. You can see her nails are pretty thick. If I were to use these on her, I would put a lot of pressure on her nail to try to cut them, and that might make it very uncomfortable for her. So make sure you've got the right size nail trimmers to begin with. So we'll put those aside. These are more her size. These are heavy duty nail trimmers and I've got two different types. One with a guard right here and one without a guard right here. I've been trimming nails for well over 20 years so I like to use the ones without a guard on them just so I can whip through the nails pretty quickly and just get the job done. But for those of you out there that aren't used to trimming nails and you might have some concern about cutting too much off at first, you can get one of these that has this adjustable guard on it. So if you need to, you can just tighten this up and what this does is only allow a certain amount of the nail into the trimmer to begin with. So you're a lot less likely to trim off too much. Now as you get used to it and more comfortable, I do recommend moving on from the ones with the guard to without the guard just so that you can see more easily all the way around the nail as you're trimming the nail. Last but not least, this is my favorite tool in trimming nails actually. This is just a typical Dremel with a tree top or a cone head on it. And the reason I like this is I finish off all of my nail trims with this because when you cut the nail, it often leaves some sharp edges. So this just rounds those edges out really, really nicely and pretty quickly so that they're not scratching people, especially if you have kids or people with thinner skin like um, elderly people. You don't want them to cut into that. So once you cut it and it has those sharp edges, you can round this out. It also keeps them from snagging their nails on clothing or upholstery or anything else to where they can rip and tear and hurt their paws. So I love using the Dremel. I'm gonna show you how I do that right after we clip them. All right, Blue, you ready? Let's get right into nail trimming. Okay, on to the dirty work. So I've got Blue's back leg pulled up here because she happens to have clear nails and dark nails on the same paw, which is perfect. So take a look at this nail, hopefully you can see here. There's uh, on the inside this nice pretty pink little vascular area and then you can see where that area ends right about there. And if you'll notice the shape of the nail, we're gonna use that to cut the dark nails, there's a little tiny hook that begins after where the vascular portion is. All we're gonna do is cut up right to that mark. So we're just basically cutting off that small hook there and avoiding any of that, <laughs> is it tickle? Avoid any of that pink that's in there as well. Now for the dark nails right here, it's the same concept. I'll use this one because this one has a better hook to show you. So you can see where the vascular portion would go all the way up to here and where this hook begins. And we're just taking off this little hook right here and that's it. And that's how we're gonna avoid cutting into the quick. Now when I'm cutting these nails, I usually start in the, the front first and do one quick cut. And then I'll cut the two sides as well. Reason being, it just gets the edges a little bit more. So if you don't have a Dremel at home, that helps reduce some of the sharpness by making three cuts. There's one in the front, one on the side, 
one on the other side, just like so. See, so dark nail, light nail, still about the same. That's all I'm gonna do on all of these paws all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up her nail trim and then I'll show you what we do with the Dremel as well. Now, one thing I wanna mention is she doesn't have any on her back feet here, but there is what's called a dew claw, kinda of like where your thumb is on your hand. It's really important that you get this one as well. Since I was demonstrating on her back leg, I just wanted to point this out on her front paw. These have a tendency to overgrow more than the other nails do because they're not on any hard surfaces, so they don't grind down like on cement or asphalt or other surfaces like their other nails that come into contact with the floor. so that's that and honestly if you're nervous about trimming their nails or it's the first couple of times you're doing it just be conservative just take a little bit off and you can try again a week or two later on to the next tool which is the dremel i'm going to show you how i do this i'm literally just rounding out the edges can see they're much more rounded out they're nice and soft and it's just a little bit all the way around to get the soft edges out just be careful you don't get the dremel on their paw or in their hair anywhere but other than that it's pretty easy now i'm going to go ahead and finish up dremeling all the rest of blue ivy's nails pretty quick here if you like this kind of video please let me know by hitting that like button and hit the subscribe and the bell notification as well to receive more content just like it just a reminder too, any of the tools that I've used throughout this video, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below so that you can grab some of them if that will be helpful to you in ordering some of your supplies. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.